Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So right now what you didn't see is I just knocked something over and my immediate reaction was, geez Louise. And then I was like, wait, oh my God. I do say that, like that needs to like be removed from my vocabulary. If you guys saw me getting ready um, with, well, I wasn't getting ready. My sisters were doing my makeup to get me ready. I will link that below. But I had a story in there where I was talking about saying, geez Louise, oh my God. This is just getting off to a, just an amazing start. So, hello, hi, how are you guys? I hope you're so awesome. So today we are gonna dive into a bunch of new makeup. I have just been like, <gasps> like just like holding back, this always happens. I try when I get new exciting PR to either A, sit down on the spot and get to know the product and film it, or I try to piece together what I think would make like a really cool full face of makeup and give you guys information as far as like pricing and what's cool and new and neat about it. So I have a bin right here just like loaded. We are ready to go. We're ready to get it on the bare face. So let me just start putting stuff on and we'll have a chat and get ready together. First things first, she needs to prime. And I have this right here, which I am so excited to try. This is the Farsali Skin Tune Blur. So this is going to blur the skin. Obviously it has the word blur in it and prime the skin. Let's see what else it does. Oh, okay, this is not even available yet, you guys. So we're getting like a very good sneak peek. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on and Hope for the best. I'm gonna take a little bit here and blur my imperfections. So we're just gonna press. That's weird. It smells like minty and fresh at the same time. That's a very strange texture. Huh. All right, it's like very cooling. I'm curious to know what the ingredients are and what exactly it does. It kind of dries down to this interesting like powder feel. I don't know that I'm getting like that much of a blur. I mean, you guys know, I like to go hard with the primer and like really like press it all in and make everything that I can erase look erased before like I get into foundation and all of that. So I think this is gonna be one of those that I try a few times. Let's move into a little bit of foundation. I have a very exciting one that is expensive. It's in stick form. I have done a WTF on a liquid version from this brand. So this is the Nude Expert Duo Stick. Glides on to leave skin even with radiant matte filter-like finish. It's weightless. So wait, but are you supposed to use this like with both? I don't know. I need directions. That almost never happens with foundation. Hold please, we're gonna figure this out. That's weird, it literally is half foundation, half highlight, so that could look a mess really, really quick. All right, I'm literally watching a video to educate myself so that we do this right. What they're suggesting is that you match the matte side to your face. Okay, but then what you're supposed to do is go in with both sides, starting in the center of the face. I'm just gonna follow those directions. We're gonna see what happens. I'm hoping for like a light, like I don't want anything super cakey. I'm kind of into like keeping the skin super fresh. Oh, it smells like roses. There is that by Terry scent. You cannot escape it with any of those products. It is, it's there. I'm not gonna use a beauty blender. I'm gonna use a flat brush. This is, I think, a Sigma brush, an F3750. What is this? An F, F80, what do I know? Um, okay, so we are going to blend and buff. I mean, it's not immediately wowing me. This is more for evening out the skin. Like this is not full coverage at all, like not even close. If you want a stick foundation that is full coverage, go with Hourglass Vanish. That one is one of my absolute favorites. If you're like really, really into a creamy full coverage stick foundation, that one's nice. Um, really great for more combo leaning dry skin. 
this is not bad. I'm just not like die hard going, oh my God, yes, my prayers answered. It's so amazing. This is my review. That was the shade Vanilla Beige, and I did get sent a bunch of other shades. I'm gonna hold them back for an upcoming giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Let's move into concealer because I feel a little sleepy. You guys know it was a very big week last week, and I still have not caught up on my uh, hours of sleep per night. They're still pretty crap. So I have from First Aid, I have the Hello Fab Kona Eye Stick. I'm gonna pop this on first, just like really, really lightly just because I was curious about this. I feel like this is gonna be a similar thing to the Becca one that I enjoy, where you put this underneath your concealer. It just kind of helps everything to glide on a little bit better and depuff. like maybe you didn't have time to do your full skincare and do an eye cream and all of that. I'm gonna take the Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. Um, oh, that's a little more peach than I thought. It's gonna work though. So because I didn't really go too hard with the coverage on the foundation, I am gonna do just a little bit of a, a highlight action, just like a tiny bit of one. Now we're gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and kind of just stamp that product in. Oh my gosh, you guys, who is so excited for This Is Us, I have not been able to watch yet and I am just like, <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I cannot even wait to cry my eyes out. Like, isn't that weird? Like, I know with that show, I'm like, oh, what are you gonna do? Not look cute and cry on the couch and love that show. That's what I'm gonna do. Dang. That went on really, really, really nice. I'm really into this. The way that this looks on my skin right now is very smooth and I don't always see that from a concealer. It says it's buildable, so I think I'm gonna go in with just like a little bit more. It's $22, it has a flexible second skin type of a feel, superfood of avocado to help hydrate and nourish. It's great for dryness, dark circles, puffiness, and you can use this on any skin type. So I'm liking this, like a lot. Okay, let's go in with just like a tiny bit more before we set it. And I can already tell it's not creasing, which is so wild. That's like my number one. If I can get a concealer that doesn't look crunchy and cakey and overly oily that does not crease, like that's why I like shape tape so much, you know, it does not crease. So let's go in with a little bit of powder to preset and then we are going to bake. I have to show you guys how beautiful this packaging is. This is from Pure and it is just like so sparkly and mesmerizing. And I've used this powder many times. It's really, really nice. Whether you put it all over the face for foundation or set your under eye area, it's just like a really nice mineral powder. I don't like to wear mineral powder all the time, but when I do, wait, don't I sound like that like beer commercial or whatever? When I do, it's this. Moving on. Milk makeup. They brought out a blurring powder. Oh, shoot, she, oof, I feel like a magician. <laughs> I always try really, really hard when I'm baking to not like smile or do anything. And if I'm ever like FaceTiming a girlfriend or whatever when I'm getting ready, they'll just be like, what is your deal? Like you are so just like, mm, like this. I don't wanna make expressions and like ruin it, you know? So we're gonna move into brows and I'm gonna try to not smile. Do I have anything for brows? I don't think I do. <gasps> That's like the one area that I effed up on. Oh, I have a setting situation for brows from Tarte. That's like the tiniest, tiniest wand you have ever seen. It's very similar to the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. This is like pretty much identical. This one's a tiny bit smaller. I'm gonna set my brows with that, but I am gonna use like my normal brow situation. So be right back. Brows are on. I used a little Dior Universal Brow. Now we're gonna go in with Tarte and set. Actually, I should do this after I kick off my bake, which I usually do. I'm just spacing out because I don't like to get powder on my brows and the gel kind of attracts that. So I might go back in after and do just a little bit more of a clean through. It's actually really nice. I love these itty bitty applicators that allow you just to really precisely kind of just graze just a tiny bit of hold and color to your brow. It looks very natural. So if you draw on your brows like I do and you don't have like a thick set, 
Something like this I think can be super, super helpful. So far I am loving so much of this. I'm gonna kick off my bake right now and kind of finish up the face and then get to the eyes. Lately, I've been doing such minimal makeup on my eyes and really just loving that look. It's really fresh. And I just end up focusing more on skin. And I mean, not even just my skin makeup, but I'm focusing more on taking time to like massage in my moisturizers to make sure that I'm using my Clarisonic little firming attachment, that I'm taking that time that I normally would take into blending out my eyeshadows. Like I'm putting that time into my skin, if that makes sense. I kind of want to make a video where I really just focus on telling you guys like ways at home that I take care of my skin. I just said skin like 5,000 quadrillion million times. Skin, skin, skin. I'm all about just taking care of your skin. And I think when you do that, it's like the best feeling, at least for me, it's the best feeling. Hence why I came out with, you know, my line of supplements, Halo Beauty, like that's all about skin too. So I feel like the more you have a positive result with how you feel without makeup, the better the makeup result can be. Cause I like both. I like to go like really hard with the glam and I like to scale it back also and feel good in both. So anyway, ah, oh, I have this. This has been on my wish list for a long time, you guys. So I think this has been out for a minute, but maybe in different packaging. This is part of the Ablaze collection, contour, highlight, blush. We kind of have everything in here that we need. So I am going to first bronze up between these two right here. Little intense, that's okay. I really focus recently on not getting any color down here. I think I've touched on that a few times now, but like every time I even just bronze, like I really just kind of... Are you kidding me? Did you guys hear that? Bronze, like I really just kind of... Just kind of... Is there a freaking ghost for real in here? Stop it. All right, leave in the comments below, what should we name the ghost? Weird things keep happening in this room. I'm not even joking, like lights turning on and off. I need salt, I need sage, things need to happen. You guys, I'm such a scaredy cat too. Like I don't watch scary movies. I can't get that image stuck in my head. Like I will not watch anything scary and there is nothing worse. When you were just like going to like, hey, lipstick, like watch a beauty video and then like some like exorcist crap like pops up as the ad and you're just like, make this stop. I'm just gonna start keeping a holy Bible right next to me. Like what is happening? All right, this has a much more like warm undertone than I am normally drawn to. But if you like that, I think you'd be into this. It's just not very cool tone the way I typically like my contour slash bronzers to be. But it is actually blending pretty decently once you work it in. Smashbox powders are really nice. Okay, now I really wanna show you guys um, this blush book. Like I could go with the blush in the palette that I just showed you guys, but how adorable is this? This is from Tarte. It's like a little booklet and it has your blush in here. And I just think that is the sweetest, cutest. I'm gonna go in with this peach one called Ra Ra. I'm also bringing my blush up a lot higher recently. I just think it looks prettier. I sometimes can get in this weird rut where I'll just be on autopilot and I just kind of do the same techniques over and over. And then when I adjust things, I'm just like, oh, why didn't I think of that sooner? Like, why didn't I do that sooner, you know? We are in need of some highlights. So I'm gonna go in with this iridescent powder from MAC. This brings me back. I feel like this is what I wore to like dances in high school. I would put this on my eyes, my lips, my body, mix it with lotion. I'd put it on my cheeks. I mean, I would just like go to town. I was like, this is the most pretty sparkle ever. Yeah, dude, like their shimmer powders, iridescent powders are stunning. This is the Iridescent Loose Powder in Golden Bronze. I have one more over here, and I think this is what I'll end up wearing today. This is Silver Dusk. I think this is the exact one. I'm actually really excited. Oh my God, it's just like soft and angelic and just, it just sits in, on the skin so nice. 
I'm really, really also super into like overdoing the glow. I think it's a very fresh look, especially if you pair it with a very simple eye. And now we are going to get to lips. I'm gonna go into this Lo-Fi Lip Mousse. This is a mousse that you could put on the cheeks, you can use it on the lips. I just think it's kind of different the way that it is actually like a, it's like a putty mousse texture. The colors look really pretty. Wow, that feels weird. I'm just gonna tap this on. Oh, okay. I'm Barbie today. Like this is a lot more pink than I thought it would be. I think I wanna go a little bit darker. So I'm gonna take the shade Noise. Wait, oh, whoa. They have like a sponge tip applicator. Holy smokes. That is the weirdest applicator and weirdest texture but I really like this, you guys. This is so cool. So I'm gonna give you a little swatch session right now to satisfy your watching needs. Let's take a look at these lo-fi lip mousses. We have the shade Frequency. We have the shade Noise that I just put on. We also have Halo, love that. Wavelength, a brick shade called Amplify, a gorgeous kind of neutral tone, deeper pink called Echo, and then Fade. I'm happy to add in, you know, swatches and whatnot where I can for you guys. I just usually have a hesitancy because I like to give the makeup away. I don't like destroying everything, but at the same time, I'm like, I review makeup, so I should do more swatches. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, I think I'm not gonna do that for foundations because I just think it's better to not waste their shelf life by pumping them and destroying them and just donate them instead. And you can go on Google and kind of Google the name of a product and usually you'll see swatches. But if there's like a fun eye product or lip product, like I'm so game to just like do the whole swatch thing and go through it. Okay, for eyes today, cause that is what we have left. I have been super excited about this. So this is the Camel palette and I just love every single shade in here. I don't know that it's gonna go with my like neon pink lips at the moment. Did I just make it worse? Probably. Mm, see, this is like legit what I do though. Like I put on 10,000 different lip products. I like sit here and I just kind of go to town. All right, whatever that combo is, I'm digging it. Let's get some camel shadow going on the eyes. I'm gonna take a Sephora brush. I'm gonna first go into this shade down here and just start working this into the crease, pushing toward my nose. I have found with the lash extensions that, oh, and there one went. Anyway, so I have learned to do my eye makeup kind of a different way where I start by pressing more toward my nose and then I bring the excess out. Natasha Denona shadows, they just blend very, very beautifully. I really, really love the color choices. I love how they work together. I love how seamless you can make a look look. I'm not trying to compete to be like the fiercest artist ever to grace YouTube history. Like I know that that's not my gig. Like I love it, but like for me, I'm not so into the wild stuff unless it's just very specific. And I wanna give you guys options for very day to day. The other thing about doing a look like this is you can get it done fast. These colors are really, really spectacular. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that bronze and we're just gonna do like a full blown bronze look on the lid. I am gonna highlight the brow bone with the lightest shade in here, this kind of vanilla looking shade. This is like a really cool everyday type of a palette. I'm into it. Take just a little bit of that and I'm going to pat right in the center. And I am gonna add liner. I'm kind of afraid to use this liner. This is a Kat Von D dagger liner. Ooh, it has like a slant tip kind of thing going on. Okay, the waterline liner, I could not. Tried it on in an unboxing. Oh, I can feel it burning still, no thank you. Not bad. Um, we'll have to see like how this stays on and all of that, but you know, it went on really nice. That slant tip is really interesting. I don't know if it's helpful, but um, it, the product did go on nice. Now I'm gonna take NARS's new mascara. The packaging is killer, love the red. I am just going to ever so slightly graze the lower lashes. And then I think I'm gonna be a bad girl and comb it through my 
extensions, which they tell you to not do, it happened. Okay. I think this look is pretty good. Like I actually really enjoy most of what I tried. The foundation I think is probably not gonna be something I reach for a ton. I just am enjoying other foundations so much more. I really enjoyed the concealer. I think that this mascara might be a true winner. I have a setting spray here from uh, Fresh. This is technically just a skin mist, but I really wanted to try it. So I love Fresh products. Most everything worked out. That eyeshadow, if you're looking for like a good neutral that is super high quality, that will blend really well, and you're the person that's gonna go back for that kind of a look every day, then I think it's totally worth it. What I wanna do, you guys, is I think at the end of the month, instead of favorites of the month, I kinda wanna do a recap on all these products that I try every single month and kind of do a video recap. Like, am I still in it? Do I still love it? And let me know what you think of that. I think it could be kind of cool, right? So I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a great day, whatever you are doing. It amazes me that so many of you guys still click on my videos and you watch them and you come to hang out with me and that means something to me. So thank you so much. I truly mean that. I hope you're having a good one and I will see you in my next video. And if you wanna subscribe, hit that button, turn on your bell, and you'll be notified. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah.